Okay, we're just going to lay out the site here in Dreamweaver with the um, CSS div tags. And the first thing I'm going to do is select on my insert div tag. I'm going to do it at insertion point and name it container. I'm going to say new CSS rule, this document only, advanced, they're defaulting, and I'm using my container tag. Okay. I'm going to go to background, make it white. I'm going to go to box make it 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. I'm going to deselect my same for all and make my right and left margin auto. Click OK and OK. OK, and there I have my center container div tag. I'm going to insert another div tag and I'm going to tell it to go before tag, make sure it says container. I'm going to call this one header new advanced header this document only okay background I'm gonna just do that blue and box I'm gonna name it 800 by 200 and I'm gonna do the same thing with the margin here auto auto okay okay all right, so now I have uh, a header and content container bar here, container tag here. I'm just going to get rid of the text, get rid of the text. All right, I'm going to insert another new div tag, after tag. And I have to go kind of fast here to get this, keep this file size down. I'm going to after tag, but I want to make sure it says container. That's important that it's not, uh, does not say header in there. Footer, I'm going to call it new, defaults. I'm going to give it a background of black. I'm going to go to my box. I'm going to make it 800 wide also. I'm going to make it 50 tall. And same for my margins, right and left auto, auto. OK, OK. So there's my black footer. Get rid of the text that's in there. OK. Now, I've got just a an image over here. It's nothing really. I'm just going to drag it into my header just to show how to drop my image in there. It's just tell me I have to save my document. That's fine. I'm going to name it logo. Click OK. Make it smaller here. Just grabbing the edges to stretch it. While I'm selected on that image, I'm going to go down to my image properties box. Give it a vertical space of 10. Just leave it at that. That can be adjusted to however you want it. You can move it around. Give it a horizontal space of 8. Okay, so we're just kind of moving that image around. That's fine. And in my container, I want to line two images up on the right side. So I'm going to make sure I am in my container. And um, if I want to do that, I can always go up into my code and make sure my cursor is right there in my container div tag. And it is. So I'm going to go insert at insertion point. I'm going to call it right. I'm going to click New, Defaults, OK. Now under Box this time, I'm going to give it a 300 pixels wide, a 600 tall, and I'm going to float it to the right. No margins. I'm going to click, oh, actually, let me give it a little background color just so it stands out. OK and OK. All right, now I have this content container here for my images. And then all I need to do is it's set for two images, uh, both 300 by 300 pixels wide, uh, wide and tall. So all I would have to do is take my images from my files panel over here, drag them in here. They would stack up on top of each other nicely. And what I could do over here for... Uh